data analysis typically begins with frequency analysis. This tutorial introduces frequency analysis in SPSS and we continue to work with our job survey data file. I have it open here and as you recall jobs, job survey has several variables. Frequency analysis shows both the absolute and relative patterns of incidence of particular variables. To carry out frequency analysis you go to menu called Analyze and Descriptive Statistics and then Frequencies. And this opens a window which has your variables left hand side and the variables you selected for analysis on the right. You start by selecting variables for analysis. Let's say we would like to know what ethnic groups do our respondents represent. You highlight the variable on the left and move it to the right. If you click OK, you will get your analysis. We have a first set of results of our frequency analysis. This first table here tells me that we have analyzed variable called ethnic group and that we had 70 responses to that variable, 70 respondents provided us with an answer and there were no missing responses, i.e. nobody missed that question. So the first table is a summary statistics. The next one shows us the pattern, the frequency analysis for this variable. We have four response categories. The person could have said that they were British, European, Asian or African. And we have fre frequency, the incidence of those answers. So 36 respondents said they were British, 18 said that they were European, 14 that they were Asian and 2 that they were African. So frequency shows you the absolute incidence of a response occurring within a sample. The next column shows how this incidence converts into relative frequency or the percent of respondents. 36 out of 70 equals 51.4 percent and then we have 25.7 percent that were other European, Asian etc. Now percentage figures take into account all the responses, both the valid and the missing. However, this next column called valid percent takes into account only the valid responses. So had, this, had there been any missing responses the, in this column, the percentages here would have been calculated on the basis of valid response here. Because everybody in our sample replied the percent is equal valid percent. Finally, that last column shows cumulative percent, the sum total of the categories in their respective order. We have 51.4% of British people, but this 77.1 comes from adding all the Brits and all the other Europeans. So 77.1 sample were European and then the 97.1 comes from adding the Asians. So the first three categories British, other European and Asian account for 97.1 of the sample and the remaining 2.9 are African. Let's try to analyze another variable. We'll go to descriptive statistics, frequencies and let's add gender you can analyze as many variables as you wish at any one time. So let's have a look at gender and maybe something else. Attendance. And let's click OK. We have the outcomes of our analysis. I'm scrolling down. Here is our summary statistics for those three variables. Again, we have 100% of valid responses with nothing missing. We've already seen the ethnic group. And let's just have a look at gender. We have 39 males and 31 females 
corresponding to 55 and 44 percent of the sample. In terms of attendance, we have 46 who have perfect attendance and 24 who have no non-perfect at attendance. So 60, almost 66 percent of our sample has perfect attendance. You can analyze any type of variables using frequency analysis. But when it comes to continuous variables such as income or age, the results are less meaningful because there are just too many categories to look at. We have respondents starting from 18 years old and going to the oldest person in our sample is 63 years old. Within this age range there isn't really any age that is particularly overrepresented, though we do have six 29 years olds and five 48 years olds. So showing age statistics in frequencies doesn't really tell us much. When we look at income, we have a similar problem. We have a person who earns £12,500 at the bottom of our distribution and somebody earning 23,500 on the top of the distribution but in the mi middle any values are possible and there are just too many of them to make sense. For variables that have this broad distribution it is useful to calculate summary statistics in form of descriptive statistics and we will do that in the next tutorial. See you then, bye bye!